Tonight, law enforcement officers, they're amplifying their message to gun owners. Lock up your weapons. As we told you yesterday, police in Port St. Lucie say a stolen gun was used in a shooting that killed a 15-year-old Port St. Lucie high school student. As WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts reports tonight, it was one of two stolen guns police say the victim and the shooter had in their possession. Shannon, police clarified today that one of the guns was stolen from a car here in the Indian River Estates community, and it was stolen very likely the day of the shooting. A second gun investigators said was stolen during a home burglary. We're not exactly sure when that date was yet, but that is the gun police say was used that killed a 15 year old when it was mishandled by a 17 year old. Valuables, especially guns left in your vehicle overnight, make you an easy target for crime. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office often posts this campaign to its social media pages, warning gun owners not to leave their weapons in unlocked cars. Lock it when you leave it. A message hitting close to home for loved ones of a 15 year old shot and killed Friday evening. Port St. Lucie police said the two teens were in the backseat of a car Friday night, both in possession of stolen guns. Police say the 17 year old reached into a bag to grab one of the guns, but negligently pulled the trigger, shooting the 15 year old in the chest. This is exactly what we don't want to have happen with a stolen gun. St. Lucie County Sheriff Ken Mascara says both guns in the Port St. Lucie investigation were reported stolen in St. Lucie County, one from a car in Indian River Estates and a home near Eroso and Prima Vista Boulevard. People uh, get quite alarmed when their lawnmower stolen out of their shed, but then you magnify that with a gun stolen out of your car that was unlocked. That's uh, a, da a dangerous situation. Mascara says in the last 12 months, 44 guns have been reported stolen in the county in 32 cases. Of those, the sheriff's office says 18 guns were taken out of vehicles, some of which were unlocked. In the last 12 months, we've had five car burglaries that the cars were unlocked, and all of those car burglaries had a gun in them. So there were five guns that are now on the street that we could presume if the car was locked, maybe they wouldn't have made it to the streets. Mascara says gun owners are legally required to safely secure the guns inside their homes to where they are not accessible to minor children. But those laws don't apply to cars. That's why the sheriff says they continue to use social media and meet with residents and homeowner groups to urge them to lock up and keep weapons out of the wrong hands. And Mascara told me that he does believe gun thefts are down this year from last year, but of course that is a number he would like to see continue to decrease. Reporting live in St. Lucie County, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.